We are following breaking news tonight. Firefighters are attempting to contain an enormous fire in downtown Raleigh. Flames can be seen from miles away. It appears to be the largest we have seen in years. Our Amy Keller begins our team coverage at the scene. Amy, what can you tell us tonight? Sharon, Sean, this remains a massive five alarm fire here in downtown Raleigh. I'll get out of the shot so you can get a live look at the scene. You can see firefighters pouring water onto that flame. We're on a parking garage six floors up here on West Street. Now, we're told that this started around 10 o'clock tonight at an apartment building that was under construction. It was at 400 West North Street. Uh, it, at that scene, you can see that a crane collapsed. That was part of the construction scene that was going on. To the left there, you can see another building uh, where you can see flames on the other side of it. So it is clearly spread to at least one other building. As for 400 West North Street, no one lives at the building. It remains under construction is what we're being told. It is surrounded, though, by other apartment buildings on either side. At this point, we're still trying to get some information regarding how this started or if there were any injuries. We've reached out to the Raleigh Fire uh, Department several times, still have not heard back. All available firefighters uh, from the Raleigh Fire Department have been called in to battle this this intense inferno. We're also told that the Holiday Inn is offering a place to stay for anyone who may have been displaced by this. Also, another local church is uh, also doing the same. Now, a man who lives next door is, describes what he uh, he saw. Take a listen. It's right next to Lynx, caught on fire, and unfortunately, it spread and caught the other building on fire. They took the crane down, the quorum building, yeah, windows are blowing out. Now, a live look back at the scene. You can see smoke rising from that intense inferno. Again, a five alarm fire here in downtown Raleigh. Ash spotted several blocks away. There are also several road closures in the area. So, if you are intending to head to downtown, you certainly want to avoid the area. Sharon, Sean. All right, Amy, it looks like the fire from what we're seeing here in this live shot is getting under control. You mentioned that maybe one other uh, building was affected by this. Yes, yes. Behind us here, you can see the smoke rising from that second building there. Uh, at this point, it's been tough to get information out of firefighters. The focus has really been on this massive blaze. But I can tell you in the time that we've been out here, the amount of smoke coming from the fire seems to have lessened a little bit. So it seems that uh, they are making some progress on this fire. But you can see the flames coming still from that building, so it remains a very active fire. All right, our Amy Cutler reporting live in downtown Raleigh. We will check back out at the scene in just a moment. And she mentioned roads were closed. We're told that Capitol Boulevard, Hillsborough Street, and Glenwood Avenue are closed. So that just gives you some perspective of how traffic snarl ups are right now. We, we want to get you some more perspective. This fire is actually showing up on radar tonight. Chief Meteorologist Wes Hohenstein, he joins us now. And Wes, what does the wind look like tonight? Well, um, if this sounds okay, it's good that it happened tonight because remember the last few nights how windy and cold it was at 10 and 11 o'clock. I mean, we had 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts, and that would have for sure spread this fire a lot farther. Remember, our station is here in North Raleigh. I show you this tower cam looking downtown a lot. There's the downtown skyline. You can still see the smoke, and this fire has been knocked down a lot. It was really lighting up the sky, and we're a couple miles away from this. This is the other side of downtown. This is from our weather bug camera. This is south of downtown. There's all the downtown skyline buildings. It is right behind this building, and earlier tonight, there was an ominous glow coming out from that building. Again, the fire has really been knocked down. We just got a picture of daylight three weeks ago of what the building looks like, and here it is under construction. There's the crane that has reportedly collapsed, and just looking at this, what is it? One, two, three, four, about five on its way to six stories, and look at all the wood. So that is why it was such a huge, huge fire, because there's really uh, just nothing but wood and flammable items around there. So that's just horrible news. Um, 
to give you an idea of exactly where this is, I know a lot of us are in and out of downtown. This purple here is Capitol. That's actually shut down. One of the many roads that's shut down. The fire, that picture I just showed you, is right here. So there's Glenwood. Cameron Village is up here. There's St. Mary's School, Poland Park down here. The bottom is where the downtown skyline is. So you take Dawson into town. You come out on McDowell. That's Capitol. Again, Glenwood right there, there's Hillsboro. So this is kind of right where we all come into downtown and then split off. If you look off to the right when you do that, that's where that fire is. And it's gonna be a mess down there. Hopefully it'll be okay by tomorrow morning. But this is again, something that we were able to pick up on radar. That's how thick the smoke was and, and how much ash was in that smoke. You can see it, I mean, it looks like clouds the way I have the radar set. But watch here, just south of Raleigh, watch, you can see the plume and then a little a bit of a light southeasterly wind kind of blows it back toward uh, Johnston County. You know, that's not something we normally do. You have to have a pretty significant event to have something show up on radar. That's how sensitive the radar is. And like I said earlier, I think we're very lucky that this happened tonight because our winds are generally calm. Yes, it's still very cold outside, but can you imagine how far the flames would have blown into other buildings and spread if we had those 20 to 30 mile per hour winds? The firefighters are still dealing with some very cold cold temperatures in the 20s and 30s. The good news is high pressure moving overhead helped calm down those winds. Remember, we had a blizzard to the northeast and this high pressure coming in, and it was that opposite pressure effect that created those strong winds.